But yeah, I am anxious yet excited to not start travel today. Anything that's going to get me through this travel day with the boys, I'm going to try. Hi, where are we? Are we at the airport? morning guys i'm talking a little bit quietly because harris is still sleeping up there the boys are sleeping but they have their sound machine on um it is bright and early so the lighting is a little bit off it is a little bit after six i think it's about like 6 15 6 20 ish i had my alarm set to wake up at six but my body naturally woke me up at like 5 15 5 30 and i tried to go back to sleep but i couldn't so i wound up laying there on my phone for a little bit before i just decided to get up and get myself ready so i went ahead and got myself dressed i finished packing what i needed to pack in the suitcase that is upstairs i just have to put the boys sleep sacks and um, the pajamas that they're wearing into that suitcase and then harris will bring it down when he wakes up and i am now sitting and finishing packing up everything else that needs to be packed so the diaper bag all of our electronics in my backpack all that kind of stuff and then around 6 45 ish i'm going to go ahead and get the boys up harris said that we should leave the house around 7 15 ish this morning just because we are driving towards the city at like rush hour ish so we might hit some traffic our flight is at 11 so i'm hoping to get there by like 8 15 8 30 the latest i rather have you know enough time to get through security and everything and not feel frazzled um with the boys and doing it all by myself so i am very anxious going into today i also was an idiot and did not wear sunscreen yesterday and we spent the day at harris's parents house so that they could spend some time with the boys before they like before we all left for florida um and my back is sunburnt my back and my shoulders so i'm not looking forward to wearing a backpack and a diaper bag on my back and having it rub against that i'm trying not to think about it um but yeah i am anxious yet excited to get on with our travel day i'm going to get as much footage as i possibly can for you guys like i mentioned in my last video it might have to be like montage slash voiceover at some parts and then when i get to florida i'll sit down and explain what goes on today i really have no idea what to expect but i'm going to go and finish packing all our stuff now get the boys milk and everything ready to go so they can have that in the car and then i will get them up here we have the diaper bag i just need to get the wipes from upstairs and put that in here and then this is packed the dance board has all of our electronics this is going to get worn on my back this is going to get worn this is going to get put on top of the stroller i'll try and show you guys what i'm talking about when i get there and then the two boys bags these get clipped on to the handlebar the stroller and that is how i'm going to maneuver all of this stuff by myself and then our suitcase i'm going to check right when we get in so that i don't have to worry about that so the last thing that i want to grab for my little crossbody is candy if you know um the boys lately they've been obsessed with candy and so i'm bringing this in hopes of bribing them every stage of the way anything that's going to get me through this travel day with the boys i'm going to try so i'm going to pack these last few sour patch kids for the boys but i'm going to oh i need to get their milk out still and then i'm going to get them up good morning are we going to mimi's house today hi baby you want to go in the airplane airplane today are we gonna go on an airplane today what blue nails whoa you're so sleepy. What about you? Are we gonna go see Mimi and Yaya? Oh, you're still waking up? Yeah. Yeah, sleepy? Do you wanna go on an airplane today? Do you wanna go on an airplane today? No. No more. No more what? 
Oh, no more red yet because the light's on, baby. No. Let's get out your outfits for today. Sockies, shorts, shirts, and diapies. You boys ready to get up? Sockies on, we gotta get dressed right away to make Black sockies. Black sockies, yeah, we have to go on a daddy's car ride. Go into the airport. Blue socks. Blue socks for brother, yeah. Blue socks. Go yeah, you got black sockies. We gotta go right to the airport this morning, okay? Come on, Jackie. Let's get you dressed. <laughs> Come here, baby. Let's see Lala. You want to go see Lala? Yeah, she's in Florida too. You can see Lala today. And Aunt Dee Dee? Yeah, she's going to be there too. Who else? No, Uncle Gary's staying here, baby, but Uncle Pat Pat will be in Florida. Okay. Yeah, Uncle Gary stay here, okay? Lila. Leo's staying here too, baby. All your cousins are staying here. Just us, we're going to go to Florida and go see Mimi Yaya, okay? Mimi Yaya. Wrong part. Silly mommy. Wrong foot. Huh? Wrong foot, yeah. <laughs> Silly mommy. What okay. baby? baby? Cheeky. Cheeky, we put in the backpack. Yes, because they come to the airport with us. Backpack. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta carry all that stuff to the airport and you can have Kiki when we get on the airplane, okay? Alright. Good. Shoes on good? I got you, mommy. You want me to pick you up? Yeah? Did we make it through security? Uh-uh, stand up, Benny. No sitting on the floor, Skaki. Oh, Benny. Okay, so we made it to our gate. So far, so good with everything. We did have two small little hiccups. One, some woman on the security line was not very nice to me. Not a worker, just like a random woman. Um, and then of course security, I kind of knew that it was going to be chaotic, they never like it. I knew that they both were going to want me to hold them and I couldn't, I knew it was going to be chaotic. Um, but all things considered, it wasn't as chaotic as I thought it was going to be. We got through super quickly and then once we were through, I let the boys pick out a snack at one of those little like stores or whatever. But we are at our gate, I think it's like 9.30, our flight board's at 10.15, so we don't have too much time to kill before then. We did go to the bathroom, we did do diapers, we have all our snacks and everything. So, um, now we just sit and wait to board. Hi! He went under? Yeah. Where'd he go under? What do you see?
we make it on the airplane? guys so it is now the next day I think it's like 11 30 my mom just left to go get her nails done so it's just the boys and I home my brother's at work my stepmom's at work and hold on okay so like I was saying it's the next day everyone's at work it's just the boys and I and I wanted to say an update you guys on how our travel day went yesterday since I'm going to edit the vlog when the boys go down for a nap today since last night I seriously just vegged out and hung out like I mentioned I woke up super early so I was very tired um the boys wound up napping on the plane let's go back to the beginning let me explain how everything went since I feel like I didn't get too much footage so what you guys saw of us at the airport I'm like watching the boys over here since my mom has a pool um, but what I mentioned at the airport, I told you guys how we had two little hiccups going through security. One, a woman was so rude to me. I was like instructed by a worker to like go to a certain line or a certain area. And the woman like said something and I wasn't really paying attention to her because I was following what I was instructed to do. And the woman was like, what? That's all the toys we have outside, baby. Yeah, it's all of them. Purple and a red. Um, she was like, some manners you have cutting the line or something like that. And I was like, I was instructed to come here. And she was like, so was I. And I was like, so then follow what you were told to do. And I walked away. I didn't give it too much money to it. But she was rude for no reason. And then security, I knew it was going to be difficult to get the boys through security. Security always is just because I have to take them out of the stroller. I have to put everything on the belt. Um, there's a lot of people. It's very fast. I knew they were going to get a little overwhelmed. They also wanted me to walk through with the boys one at a time to go through security. And so I tried to do that with Ben. And when I did that, Jack took off in the other direction and some woman grabbed him for me. And then Ben, of course, came back through with the metal detector. So I was like, I have to come through holding both of them. I cannot do one at a time and they let me do that and then i got them back in the stroller i got all our stuff together and then i went and got the boys a snack for going through security so well um like as well as they were going to Mommy. i told them they could pick out a snack from the store what baby <laughs> two so we did that we got to our gate we were the gate the last gate all the way at the end which was kind of nice there was like an area of windows in a little corner where the boys were able to run around for a little bit so it was nice having that spot for them to do that there wasn't a lot of people there so I was able to let them run around and get some energy out. Then they sat and had a snack when I took that last clip. And then before I knew it, it was time to get on the plane, we aborted with like the people who were able to board with children with strollers. Um, Jack got a little bit nervous going to get on the plane. Ben was completely fine, but Jack got a little bit nervous going to get on the plane. But the pilot actually came out and helped me get Ben to the seat so that I could hold Jack and all of the stuff. And we were able to get to our seats, get in our seats, they both sat in their seats for quite some time. We actually taxied for a little bit, so we couldn't take off right away. But Jack wound up sitting in a seat the entire time. I also, side note, I hate how my hair is in Florida. I feel like it gets so greasy so fast just because it is so hot here. I like forgot how hot and humid it is in Florida, but my hair is like super greasy and I blew it out for basically nothing. Um, but anyway, 
pilot helped us we got in our seats jack sat in his seat buckled for 90 percent of the flight he got up for five minutes he told me his butt was starting to hurt so he got up for five minutes and then he wanted to get back in his seat so he sat in his seat the whole time ben wound up sitting on my lap the whole time we had snacks they actually only played on their ipads for like five minutes they wound up just like talking and just hanging out for most of it and then going down they actually both fell asleep descending seriously the last five minutes of the flight both of the boys wound up falling asleep i was able to get jack awake after we already landed but ben was still asleep on my chest and so a woman sitting behind me offered to help me get the boys off of the plane she grabbed all my bags for me I held one of them and then I held Ben and then Jack wound up walking until we got off of the plane and then I passed Ben over to her since he was like knocked out of sleep and Jack stood with another lady who offered to help. I opened up the stroller and I was able to get the boys into the stroller and then get off to baggage claim and then I grabbed our bag. That was super easy. I went to the bathroom. I changed some diapers and before I knew it, Jackie, sit down nice on your butt. Before I knew it, my mom picked us up. And then that little clip you saw, I couldn't really walk to go towards my mom since I was with all the stuff, like the stroller and the bags. But the boys were running to my mom who they saw at the other end of baggage. So all in all, considering I traveled completely alone with them, I feel like it was one of the easiest travel experiences just because I didn't have the car seats. The boys cooperated really well for us leaving out of JFK. That's the airport we flew out of. And it's like the largest airport in my area. I was nervous because sometimes it can be super hustle and bustle there. Um, but I feel like it went really, really well. They, the boys were exceptionally well. A woman actually walked past us going to the bathroom on the airplane and saw Ben on my lap. And at this point, Jack was standing like in the little like area of our seats and was laying down on the seat, like laying forward. And she was like, oh, he's so well behaved. How old is he? And I was like, oh, they're two and a half. And she was like, they. And I was like, yeah, I have another one right here. And she was like, I didn't even know you had twins. And I could only see the one and the other one's so quiet. He's just keeping to himself. And I was like, yeah, Jack was so good. Just minding his own business and doing his thing on the plane. Um, so yeah, we made it down to Florida. I hope you guys enjoyed kind of seeing a little bit into our travel day and hearing my experience. I have to say I had a very positive experience compared to the first time flying with the boys last summer with my grandma out of JFK. That was a disaster. Worst flight experience I think ever in my entire life. And then since then, I feel like every time I fly, I just get like better at it and more used to flying with them. And so I have to say, I think it was the easiest and best flying experience with the boys. But I'm going to end the vlog here and enjoy the rest of my day. I will be vlogging this week and you guys will see that on Friday from us. I think I'm going to upload a total of, including this one, one, two, three, six Florida vlogs. If I'm exact, I will link all of them in my Florida playlist. And I have a Florida playlist already made so you guys can see all of our last Florida vlogs if you guys are interested. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And with that being said, we will see you guys in our next one. Bye, guys.